Welcome to Shoe Studio. Welcome to Drawing Daphne Exhibition. Here we have Beth Fraser, who is an illustrator based in London, and Samuel Harrison, who is also an illustrator based in London. You've been on set drawing whatever was happening in a very fast-paced environment, so I wanted you to talk about what that meant for your creative styles and also what that meant in the positive, because I know it was really important for you to like do it collaboratively and like being in the same room with each other. I was nervous. I did do some practice before we even got there. I probably should have done more practice for like life drawing. But then none of what I practiced came out in, oh, really? the, in the video. I, like, I kind of already knew going in that I wasn't going to be able to work in the same way I usually would. Just because like, I haven't got hours and hours to just like labor over a drawing. Um, so I kind of knew as I was going in, I was going to have to do much more gestural sketches, yeah. more like looser, um, that I can then like take away and yeah. use as like a reference. Rough plans, but then like do a very different type of work in the studio than I did on set. Um, but like, what a great challenge for yeah. you. Yeah, it I was like, it. Uh, I think it probably helped me in the long run. Yeah, um, Just in terms of like getting movement and poses and things it's like that. It's just a switch up and it's also something you wouldn't have done if we didn't have that project yeah. to do. Yeah, plus I can be a lot more um, carefree with it. Yeah. Like it was like sketching and then like, oh, that way. Blah, and blah. also like the ones that you hate, everyone else kind of, it was good having everyone to just encourage Being each. around people <laughs> when you're sketching, so I never do that, I'm like so solitary. <laughs> Me too. Um, so then being able to be like, mm, I don't know how I feel about what I'm doing with this one. Let me go and just stare at someone else. And like I think maybe what it is, is like my work and your work, are, we're quite exaggerative. Mm -hmm. And then Jess and Connie are very good at drawing realistically. Yeah. So for them, it's just, it was just them practicing. Yeah, it's like very and usual. It's yeah. just a usual day for them. Whereas me and you were like, oh, I was curious to see how you were going to do collage. I did like, I tried I it. I never work on the <laughs> easel work. anyway. I always work on the table and I think you're similar. Yeah, I've never used an easel. So I was and like, how is she going to be able to like down. be cutting things up? Yeah. I'm so used to drawing alone for hours. Like it's mm. not like a quick thing. I'll be there for hours and hours. See, I'm a really quick worker. I oh, want really? it done in like an hour or two. Stop. Like two I could hours only dream. Max. I could only I, like, dream. I can't go back to things. And it was, it's been the same since like school, college. I don't like go back. So I was like exhausted by. Why, why don't you want to go back? Like, not not want to go back, but like. I think because I, I stopped like? paying attention or like I stopped. Change your idea. Yeah, or I just, I don't know. And then I start, it starts, I ruin it because I'm like not, Overwork, not yeah. into it. Okay. Fair. I'm just like going through the motion. I have to do mine like sittings. I yeah. do like a couple of hours here, a couple of hours there. And the detail in yours is crazy. Yeah, my poor thumb. Like my poor, <laughs> my poor thumb is the one that's like having to suffer for these long drawings. <laughs> it was yeah, difficult so because yeah. walking into the uh, shoot, I thought it was going to be like a different look. I thought it was going to be like hair up, black and white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then, actually, yeah, we said that, didn't we? And then when it was like the um, finger waves, I was like, how do I draw this? This, yeah. is, this wasn't what I, what I was planning. Um, but like, I actually loved drawing that, that hair. Yeah, I think I was exactly the same because I've been practicing with the black and white hair. And then, yeah, because I don't really focus on the face too much. The hair is sort of how... It's it, like a defining... It's, yeah. yeah, it's how you would know We both hair. use so a lot of So as soon as the hair was gone, I was like, what am I going to do? And then, yeah, we do both yeah, use Yeah, I was thinking this. Like, the same way that in my work I have like a, a harsh contrast between like really dark areas and light areas, mm -hmm. the, you have the same contrast. Yeah. You have like accent colours, like your purples, your greens, reds. Yeah, it's but like there's a lot of black and white. One of your illustrations was my favourite from the show. So was yours. What was yours? This one. Oh, stop it. My favourite one of yours was a um, black piece of paper. And it's like a oh. white line drawing. I think yeah. it's like from behind. It's like very... Like a two second Very drawing. my vibe. This is what we were saying though, the ones that like I don't like and the ones that you like and then the ones that... Like your quick, quick sketches. sketches like, oh, I love them. But I am like able to be a lot more like free flowing with them, and I think if I don't do like a loose scribbly sketch beforehand, the final illustration is more static than mm -hmm. it could be. Like when because I'll do the sketches much smaller, so like it's just easier to be a bit more like crazy. Yeah. 
and then scale it up? Or is it if I, mean, I just jump working in? Working big is harder anyway, because I think it was you do lose movement. Yeah. Because it's wrist action. Yeah, because you did those like really huge, the whole wall. Mm. It's hard. Did you, get, did you do like small mock-ups and then? No, there? I just Oh, did really? It. Just did it. <laughs> That's my idea of hell because <laughs> if I just jump into a huge one, there will be mistakes. Or like, there'll be a perspective wrong. I'll spend like hours in a walk around and be like, But that was the whole point you. of that project you out. was like, it needed to be done in, You're in, a time scale. in the panel discussion, in the space of that chat. Yeah. Everybody kind of picked different looks. I don't know whether that, that was yeah. a curation thing, but it seems like everybody was attracted to like a different look from the shoe. Mm -hmm. Because it, it like, you would think that there'd be like one look that everybody, everybody did. But there wasn't really like one specific look everybody drew. There's no, like, everybody yeah. picked their own that kind of fits with their own style. Well, with the first like few looks, I think they were like, um, not cat suits, but they were like really skin tight. And I don't really draw like skin. Like I, I prefer like volumes of fabric, like yeah, big, give me like something I can, I like fabric. Like I love drawing fabric. So give me something that I can exaggerate and then do like big shapes. Yeah. And I remember like, I need some like move, but I need something big. So that's why like the big one I did was like a huge headpiece and like a cape that had a wind machine. Like mm -hmm. I was more attracted to the larger, drapier ones. I what also, was your... did you focus on the background? Or like the set really. at all? I don't do backgrounds. All my, all my, all my <laughs> figures are just like floating. Like I don't really do backgrounds. I feel like I dabbled. I think you do. I dabble. I was like, because, so I was actually inspired by you and Angelica at the moment. <laughs> You're sitting down women. Yes. You've both done them like in I the past week. I said the week. same to her the other day, actually. In the past week, you've both illustrated sitting down women with like handbags and they're like in a space. And I'm like, I want to do that. So I'm going to try. It's like a, it's a, but if you asked me two years ago, I would have said that I would never do a background. I'm going to try and like just do at least one of a sitting down woman with a bag just to see like the line up of like where that can sit. I guess also like I, you sort of cut things off. Or like you work within the frame, you see the whole I like, I do my border. finished, yeah. Yeah. It's quite rare to do a whole head to toe. Yeah, I don't do many like shoe to head looks. If yeah. I do that, I'm like, okay, this is like a long one. But I usually cut off like here, yeah. or just a torso, just, just a head. Just do the easy bit. Yeah, like otherwise, <laughs> otherwise there's always an empty space. Yeah. That's, and I don't particularly that's like also, the negative yeah, space. Yeah, I guess if you're trained, I don't know, I consider that as well, the yeah. empty space. Is I don't, yeah, I don't know whether that's like... Art school art school or just like a victim of social media like things looking on yeah. the grid like yeah, that's so how true. things would look but if i'm doing a whole head to toe the two spaces next to the head it's just like big white so I'm like, oh, yeah God, like something should be there unless there's something going on so that's why i try and keep it that's exactly the same i agree keep it that's like how I in the space no i think that's I it like you can never tell which one is the one that people are gonna like and also, like, we were just drawing them so quick and throwing them on the floor. Yeah, well, we, like, it was very fast-paced. Yeah. So I was like, quickly get your sketches in, otherwise you'll miss it. Were there any outfits that you tried to illustrate, but, like, the drafts just weren't working? No. <laughs> it was perfect. <laughs> I was, there was one look that, I, like, I tried so many sketches and it just wasn't going to It was like um, a feathered... Uh, it's like a feathered torso thing. Oh, was it? And it had the quite straight column yeah. skirt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was the other alternative that I was going to do. Um, that was going to be, I wanted to do three illustrations. I kind of mm -hmm. knew that in my head. And that was going to be like the first one I did. And I was like, I can't do it. It's not working. Can't I can't do it. So I swapped it for like the netted one. Not netted, but there was like a tool. Oh yeah, that's So that was the, the one I kind of swapped out. But like, I just couldn't do it. But I wanted to do the feathers. I think I was, yeah, feathers were hard actually, like the really lightweight, delicate stuff. Mm. Um, I think my struggle was all of, like what you're saying about like the big ears and the big neck and things that I draw. And Daphne is the complete opposite yeah. of that. She's so like petite and tiny. And Especially was, on those shoes. I was just was like, like trying to draw, I was just drawing what she was wearing, but on my usual figures. Mm -hmm. And then I had to sort of step back and be like, that's not what she looks like anymore. I think it was when we were drawing the um, the ballet dancers, mm -hmm. the male ballet dancers, and then I was realizing I that didn't draw any of the that. figures that I was drawing of her were the same figure as the male ballet dancers, and I was like, 
just something. That's not necessarily a bad thing. No, I quite like them, but it mm. was like. Mm. You wanted a bit of a. I wanted to actually draw her as her. Yeah. And not interpret it so much. Yeah. Also, I think your figures are very like um, they're kind of warped. Like yeah. they're very like loose. Well, not wobbly, but like yeah, they're not real. There's like a there's a wobble. There's like a curve to them. Yeah. So when like Daphne's on stage, quite yes, like straight, it's like a straight yeah, line it was very with like, some of the outfits. Um, What's it like thirties, like thirties mm. silhouette where they are all very straight and column and yeah. I think um, my looks got better as the shoot went on. As the yeah. shoot went on, there were more looks. That I was like, okay, this is something I would pick to choose out of a lineup to draw. So. But also we were probably just warming up and getting into it. Yeah. Yeah, I also think that my memories of it was like um, a little bit like different. Like in my head, yeah. things it, things were larger or different than in reality. Like the large drawing I did, I don't even, I don't even think that look is exactly the, like I think it was, I think it's a few looks oh, actually yeah, combined. Like, no, no, they're all artistic licenses. Yeah, like, I think it's a few it looks combined, like, like similar vibes. Yeah, I mean, it was two. That's it, actually combining. Yeah, different. I'm like, I like the headpiece in this one, but, but still like very Daphne and still very the shoe. But like, whoever the, like the stylist hates us. Like we're all just here trying to do our job. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we are just so used to drawing from photos. Yeah, but it, it does. Was nice I do like life. seeing how the clothes move. I think that makes 100%. a difference. But I think, yeah, for me, it's about creating the the atmosphere rather than like mm. a pit, not pitch perfect, picture perfect. You have been on the shoot. You have been on the set. How do you think that kind of depicts the experience? Even though we were all chatting on set and like running to each other's easels and like having a look at what we're doing, I don't think I. I don't think we ever got to properly see what each other were making, making as like finals. Yeah, I think and a lot of people like throwing them like, into like stacks of stuff. I think maybe because it, it was a challenge for everyone, mm -hmm. so I think everyone was like a bit nervous to show each other. Not yeah. nervous. But I mean, like, naturally, you can, especially if you've just made something, you're going to be a little bit shy about being like, "Oh, have a look at this." Yeah, shy is the word I think. Um, but, then, but then, like in terms of people taking illustrations away to then like clean up or rework. Yeah. I didn't really know what people what was going to come back. Yeah. So there's a lot of illustrations like from the show that like, I don't remember, I don't know where that came from. I'm like, you've come back and really- I think it was, it was really also a really nice amount of time since what the show, the mm -hmm. shoot, I mean, was in January. Yeah, like Feb. So we could sort of forget a little bit and then come in fresh mm. and enjoy it again. Yeah, like see everybody, seeing everybody's work together, it's so different. And just a different environment, so taking it out of the shoot. But just just like with any exhibition, when it's like on your desk. You Giving it of, a proper platform. Yeah, once it's like in a frame on a wall, it like elevates it. it gives it space to breathe and it like finishes stand it in its off. Own. Yeah. I think I did some, did all my sketches where I was like, because I knew I wanted to walk, go away with these sketches as like plans or sketches. Yeah. I wasn't like, Really, so I felt like people were working a lot, doing a lot more than I was doing. I was like, oh, I feel like Or doing finalised ones. Mm -hmm. I didn't really, I wasn't intending on making any finalised stuff. Were there ones you made on the, like, final ones on the shoot that you saw as, like, pieces rather than sketches? Or do you even see I really sketches? liked the, I sort of do since, since that shoot, okay. I think. But the, the ones I made on the last day, I had just, like, a China graph marker and I was just sort of, you know, when you've like sort of um, found it, like whatever it the is. Moment. The yeah. moment. Yeah. And you're just like, okay, this is actually what I want to do. And it was drawing, but it was the right amount of like negative space or like detail okay. or like, yeah. And she kind of looked like this weird alien thing that I was drawing. Wow. And quite liked them. So you found that moment like on the last day? I think it was the last day, probably, yeah, like 10 p.m on the last day. The brain starts wandering. <laughs> when you're tired, the brain starts wandering and like creativity happens. It was good. And then I've sort of been drawing like that since then. Oh, so like, do you think your process has changed since the shoot? Um, probably. Not the, pro not the, well, like maybe you. not the process, but like the, the style 
I sort of like figured out how to draw her face, basically. Okay. And the it was the disco ball. Yeah, drawing the disco <laughs> ball. Drawing the disco ball. Okay. Was the, wow. was my favorite moment. But it was like because I think my work's so static a lot of the time, so mm -hmm. then trying to get these sparkles. Yeah. Without it looking cheesy or like, like emoji. glitzy <laughs> yeah. or an emoji or like yeah cartoony it was just mm. I just sort of found it I think I'm doing more sketches now yeah like I'm doing more sketches now I'm showing more sketches now I'm a bit more like this is a part of the process let me show people like yeah. rather than just throw, like, but people have this, love it especially yeah. like on social media and stuff a, a video or like process pictures of, it's a story for me anyway they do mm. so much better yeah or, like people want to see it and I want to see that in yours and other people I follow, I just I enjoy that. Yeah, but then, also, then they're like more yeah. raw, they're more like yeah. scribbly. So it's like yeah, this is how it started, and then just suddenly sit down and like bang out this like OCD drawing of like yeah. I used to though. I used to not do any sketches. I used to just so did I go for it. Well, <laughs> but I also think I don't know how when I was younger, especially like uni time, I could sit and do a whole illustration one go, no breaks, nothing. Yeah. Now I'm like 100 <laughs> breaks. I need oxygen, water, You're old. a You're rest. Like bad thumb. Repetitive strain. Honestly, my poor thumb. 